This video is brought to you by Starboy's Juices, infusing fruits with sea moss in Philadelphia and New Jersey. Refreshing and nutritious. Call Starboy's at 1267 904 3454. That's 1267 904 3454. This video is brought to you by Andy Gone Nuts, 100% guaranteed fresh coconut water delivered straight to your door. Call 876-309-6128. That's 876-309-6128. Refreshing and affordable. For more information, follow them on Instagram at Andy Gone Nuts. Mmm, truly refreshing. And Crumble by Mrs. C. Old English fudge and other delectable sweet treats. Call or WhatsApp 876-586-0471. That's 876-586-0471. Yes, everybody, we are back. How is everybody doing? Welcome back to Reggae Boys Commentary. This is the channel where we come together to discuss everything in relation to Jamaican football. This is your hub for everything Jamaican football related. So, folks, the English Premier League. Yes, it took center stage today, and there were some compelling results in the matches that took place today. Well, as you know, yesterday was Friday, where Fulham, well, they battled to a one-all draw with Wolverhampton Wanderers. Bobby Reid playing the right-hand side of a front three on that occasion. So they got a point there in that game. Everton took on Aston Villa, and Leon Bailey and Aston Villa recorded a 2-0 win. Traveled to Merseyside and picked up a win. Leon Bailey playing up top. And played against quality players on that Liverpool team, that, that Merseyside team that from Everton. Yeah, Damari Gray came on. Ellis Sims also came on as well. It's great to see Ellis Sims getting games. It really, really is encouraging to see him getting games within the English top flight. 22 years old, growing, developing, learning his craft, six foot three, and progressing quite nicely. And of course, somebody that has Jamaican heritage as well. So really, really happy for him to get the opportunities. And Everton, really, they do give the, the, the opportunities. I'm grateful that Everton gives the opportunities. And it's now down to you to be able to make use of that opportunity. Everton gave players like Tom Davis, John Joe Kelly, Anthony Gordon, you know, opportunities to to play. And, you know, it's now there for you to go out there and make that good impression from there on in, you know. You have to go out there and shine now. And it's the same for the other club in Merseyside as well in Liverpool. John Joe Shelby. Remember John Joe Shelby? Yeah. After Charlton, he went to Liverpool, spent a couple of seasons there at Liverpool, you know, went over to Swansea a couple of years, and then went to Newcastle, spent seven seasons at Newcastle, and now he's at Nottingham Forest, you know. Seasons, you know. Situation, folks. That is the situation, you know. That is how, you know, the thing sort of went from that standpoint. Let's now look at some other fixtures. Leicester City, well, they lost to Arsenal by one goal to nil. So Arsenal looking to find their way back in, in proceedings there. West Ham 4, Nottingham Forest nil. Mikel Antonio in the 85th minute, getting on the score sheet. Absolutely brilliant work there. Leeds defeated Southampton by a goal to nil. Man City defeated Bournemouth 4-1. Crystal Palace defeat, uh, drew 0-0 with a League 2 side. And Tottenham plays Chelsea tomorrow morning. So look at how the table looks right right now. Right now, in terms of the standings in particular. 
Arsenal are eight points above United, but only two points above Manchester City. With still 14 games to go. A lot of twists and turns that lie ahead. But let's see. Just have to keep on going, keep on pushing. I definitely feel that the draws to Crystal Palace, that should have been a win, you know, from, from United standpoint. I think it should have been. In fact, two of these draws should have been wins. So you add four points to that. And you take a point from Arsenal, five points. United would be on 54 points. Arsenal would be on 55 points. And it's a much would be a much, much tighter affair there. Jordan, how are you doing, man? Hope you are doing well. So, Mikel Antonio on the score sheet, folks. What's happening over in the championship? Well, in the English championship, there are also some very, 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 very interesting results. Yep, as we had another Jamaican that was on the score sheet. Yep. Yeah, Jamaican on the score sheet, yeah. You guys know who that Jamaican was? Well, yeah. It was Daniel Johnson. Yeah, you guys know Daniel Johnson. Yeah. You guys know Daniel Johnson already. Yeah, Daniel Johnson is an individual that has scored. He scored for Preston North End. Yeah. Very, 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 very good victory today. Let's recap some of those results today in particular. They defeated Wigan Athletic by two goals to one. Daniel Johnson scored from the penalty spot. Wigan had... Well, didn't had Curtis Tills, who was on the bench. He didn't get to play today. But Ashley Fletcher did get to play today. Luton Town, they won by a goal to nil over Birmingham City. Amari Bell playing on the left-hand side of a back three. Yeah. Millwall defeated Stoke by a goal to nil. That's right. Dijon Sterling playing for Stoke City. Yep, that is right. Burnley beat at Huddersfield Town by four goals to nil. <sighs> yeah. Headley at left back. Played for Huddersfield Town. Reading defeated Blackpool with Andy Carroll on the score sheet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He found the score sheet quite well today. Now, Bristol City, they defeated Hull City. That's right. Blackburn Rovers, they defeated QPR three goals to one. Jamalo played for QPR. What do the standings look like right now within the English Championship? Well, it's Burnley and Sheffield Wednesday. Those are the teams that look in poised position for promotion back to the Premier League. Burnley is up in Lancashire and Sheffield United is a club in South Yorkshire. And then you have the teams third, fourth, fifth and sixth. Yeah. Michael Carrick and, Middles and Middlesbrough. I have them as the favourites to be able to get promoted. But in the same breath, you can't rule out Amari Bell's Luton Town, who are also in a pretty decent position as well. Sunderland, don't rule them out as well to get a position within the playoffs as well. And of course, there's still some work to do for Daniel Johnson's Preston North End. Of course, QPR have uh, slipped down to 18 from 39 points. They've lost their last four games now. So it really, 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 really will call for a lot more work to be done to ensure that things can you know, be progressive from that standpoint. What about League One, folks? Well, in League One, our man is at the top of the league. We are top of the league. Say, we are top of the league. You guys are aware, right? And I know you guys need to show some respect. You guys need to show some respect to the big man, Big Dave. All right? Show some respect to the big man, Big Dave. The last time Sheffield Wednesday lost a game was October 4, 2022 against Plymouth Argyle. And it was a 90th minute winner. All right. Since then, a 3-0 win over Cheltenham Town, 
a 2-0 win over Cambridge United, a 1-1 draw against Lincoln, a 1-1 draw against Bristol Rovers, a 4-2 win over Burton Albion, a 1-0 victory over Accrington Stanley, a 1-0 victory over Shrewsbury Town, a 0 draw against Derby, a 1-1 draw against Exeter, a 0-0 draw against Oxford United, a 2-1 victory over Fleetwood, a 2-0 victory over Port Vale, a 5-0 victory over Cambridge United, a 1-0 win over Wickham Wonders, a 1-0 win over Fleetwood, a 1-0 win over Plymouth Argyle, a 2-2 draw against Ipswich, a 3-0 victory over Morecambe, a 5-2 win over Milton Keen Duns, and a 1-0 victory over Charlton Athletic today. That's 20 league games unbeaten. 20 league games unbeaten. Big up, Travis. Big up, Travis. 20 games unbeaten. No, 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 no. You can't brush that aside, all right, folks? You cannot brush that aside. Let me repeat that one more time for you guys right now, okay? Darren Moore of Sheffield Wednesday, right? Has carried his team to 20 unbeaten games in League One. Wednesday remains top of the table. Right? Big up to Big Dave. Because he's doing an absolutely fantastic job. I did my scouting there at Sheffield Wednesday. I did my, my workshop and my learning and it went well. So it went well. So yeah. Yeah, that's where we are now, folks. So, yeah, that is the situation. 20 games unbeaten. Smash the like button, folks. 20 games unbeaten. I said 20 games unbeaten. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. 20 games unbeaten. All right, folks? 20. 20. And trust me, it could have been more if Darren Moore wanted to take the FA Cup. More of a priority. He knew that he had to give the league the priority, especially bearing in mind he had a big game against Plymouth Argyle, which he won. The game against Plymouth Argyle on February 4 was more important than the FA Cup fourth round replay against Fleetwood Town. All right. And if you look at those draws in particular, let me show you the table. Let me show you the table of how outstanding it has been. Look at the table. Look at the standings, folks. Sheffield Wednesday, 32 games played and 21 wins. 21 wins. That is a win percentage of 66%. A 66% win percentage is commendable. Absolutely commendable. 66% win percentage rate this season eight draws and let me tell you something folks M many of those draws were last minute equalizer or last minute last 50 minute equalizer so 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 honestly sheffield wednesday could at this point in time have 87 points i'm being absolutely frank with you guys and look at the defensive record yes They've scored 59 goals. They haven't scored the most in the league. Epswich has scored the most right now. But they have the best defensive record in the league. No shame. No, no surprise why. Because it is a centre-half in Darren Moore that has created that. 22 goals against. 22 goals against. 22 goals against. And 32 matches played. So they've played more matches than goals they've conceded. All right? So that tells you everything you need in this moment in time. Good. What time is the game at Catherine Hall on the 11th of March? So, Travis, as it relates to the time of the match in itself, that it, the, the times of the matches have not been announced just yet. However, bearing in mind that it is a weekend game, you're looking at, most likely speaking, 
and evening game in particular. So that is something for you to bear in mind where that is concerned. It's most likely going to be an evening game for that fixture in particular. So something for you to process and think about. All right. So that's what you can look forward to. Most likely going to be an evening game. All right. So that's what we can look out for. Yeah. Let me take it from that standpoint. Yeah. Good. So that's something to, to process. You know? Yeah. So that's a situation, folks. That's a situation. Very much so. Exciting, isn't it? Really, really happy for Darren Moore. He's done a brilliant job. He has done fantastic. He has done a fantastic job. You know? So, from that standpoint, yeah, it's been good. It's been really good. No complaints. No complaints about that at all. Johnson Clark Harris was also on the score sheet as well. Yep, Johnson Clark Harris was also on the score sheet as well. For Peterborough, scored two. As they defeated Plymouth Argyle, 5 2. Tyler Roberts for Wolverhampton Wanderers under 21s. He scored as they drew 2 2 with, yep, Manchester United. You guys know what takes place this evening? Major League Soccer is back. That's right. The 2023 season of Major League Soccer is back, folks. Early today, we had Nashville. Nashville took on New York City FC. Yep, Nashville took on New York City FC earlier. And, well, you guys get to see everything that you need from this standpoint. Shaq Moore <laughs> over there in the back. Philadelphia Union taking on Columbus. Andre Blake in net. Damien Lowe, well, he's on the bench for this first game of the season. They take on Columbus, Atlanta's playing San Jose, FC Cincinnati. Well, they face Houston Dynamo. That's right. Orlando City against the New York Red Bulls. DC United against Toronto. Mm -hmm. Into Miami against Montreal. So Major League Soccer is back. And New York Red Bulls against Orlando. Corey Burke. Scory Burke, who wears the number seven. Yep, he is on the bench for this game in particular. So that's where we are, folks. That's the situation. That is where we are it's right now. Mm -hmm. Yes, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. Really, really appreciate it. That's the latest for now. If you guys haven't already, smash the like button. And after you smash the like button, hit the subscribe button now to Reggae Boys Commentary for more content. This video is brought to you by Starboys Juices. Infusing fruits with sea moss in Philadelphia and New Jersey. Refreshing and nutritious. Call Starboys at 1-267-904-3454. That's 1-267-904-3454. Three, four, five, four. This video is brought to you by Andy Gone Nuts. 100% guaranteed fresh coconut water delivered straight to your door. Call 876-309-6128. That's 876-309-6128. Refreshing and affordable. For more information, follow them on Instagram at Andy Gone Nuts. Mmm, truly refreshing. And Crumble by Mrs. C. Old English fudge and other delectable sweet treats. Call or WhatsApp 876-586-0471. That's 876-586-0471.